of plants to contain edible vaccines is well underway. Work is being done with bananas, potatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, rice, wheat, soybeans, and corn. Companies like Medicago are using gene editing to turn plants into mini bioreactors. Medicago's manufacturing facility looks like a nursery, but inside these plants, they're growing a new kind of vaccine. The technology is called a virus-like particle. At Medicago, we use a careful step-by-step process to develop vaccines using our plants as mini bioreactors. We start with the gene sequence or code of a virus. We then use our technology to synthesize the virus code into a real biological product. The code contains genetic instructions that our plants can read, and we insert it into bacteria called Agrobacterium tumefaciens. We submerge the plants in a bath with the bacteria that carries the information into the plant cells. And using a vacuum, we suck out the air between the plant cells and replace it with the liquid. The plants absorb it like a sponge. At the end of their bacterial bath, we return our plants to a carefully controlled greenhouse to let them get on with their natural growing business for at least four days. Now the plants will start producing the most important ingredient of our vaccines, virus-like particles. Gene editing is now officially in our meat industry. Lobbyists for the cattlemen and pork associations in several states have confirmed that they will be using the mRNA COVID vaccines on their livestock. Attorney Tom Renz has been warning that there is no law requiring anyone to give informed consent for vaccine food. There are no laws requiring anyone to tell you the food you are buying has been vaxxed with the spike protein clot shot. The UK recently passed into law the Genetic Technology Precision Breeding Bill. The bill amends the Environmental Protection Act of 1990 to exclude references to precision bred organisms so far as they relate to marketing. Precision bred organism is another term for gene edited. So now in the UK, food that's been gene edited can be legally marketed as non-GMO. And if this UK gene edited meat makes its way to America, it can be labeled non-GMO here as well. And so long as it's butchered in America, it can be labeled product of USA. The fake alternative meat being pushed by Bill Gates and others is made of immortal cell lines. In other words, cancerous tumor cells. Real meat is being blamed for climate change. And a recent independent study suggests that most of our meat is already contaminated. Using infrared spectroscopy and electron microscopy, Dr. Anna Maria Mialcia has been studying the blood of the vaxxed and the unvaxxed for over a year now. And at first, she was finding the same contamination in only the blood of the vaxxed, a contamination that she describes as ribbon-like structures much like the mysterious blood clots being found by coroners. But lately she's been finding these ribbon-like structures in the blood of the unvaxxed as well. By measuring the frequency of one of these mysterious rubbery blood clots, Dr. David Jennigan has developed a way of detecting the same frequency in the vaxxed. Recently, he's found this unique frequency in the meat being sold in his local grocery store and asked Dr. Mielcia to confirm his findings. Her microscopy showed that the blood samples taken from products in the grocery store were all contaminated with the similar ribbon-like structures found in the blood of the vaxxed. Most of the meat in the grocery store is from overseas, and if we want to eat uncontaminated meat, we'll have to start buying direct from farms in America that still produce all-natural organic protein and take back control of our democidal government. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. Thank you for watching the latest Greg Reese Report. Be sure to go to reesereport.com to see my latest videos, 
Sign up for my free newsletter and subscribe for exclusive content. And be sure to support my sponsor at InfoWarsStore.com. The best-selling book in America last week was The Great Reset and the War for the Worlds, written by Alex Jones. Jones sold more than 56,000 copies of his book last week. But the New York Times lied about that because the New York Times doesn't want you to know that. The New York Times wants you to believe that Alex Jones is more discredited than the New York Times. The paper that started the Iraq War by lying about weapons of mass destruction and got a million people killed. So they lied about his book. The Great Reset and the War for the World. The historic book that lays out the plans of the Great Reset Death Star and exposes the New World Order's plans for global enslavement. Get your copy now at Amazon.com to keep the book at number one and InfoWarsStore.com to help keep InfoWars on the air. The Great Reset and the War for the World by Alex Jones. Now number one in the world.